Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you how to use one of these $10 pellet tubes in a propane grill in order to smoke your steak. Today I'm gonna be smoking a couple of these delicious looking New York strips seasoned with salt and pepper. All right, first thing I like to do, put my already used pellet tube on top of a paper towel. Just crash out any of the reminiscent from the previous grilling. Next thing you're gonna do is add some pellets. I'm gonna be mixing some peach pellets with, let's go with some, just because it rhymes, we're gonna go with beach, beach and peach, okay? So, literally I just kinda, and I can, I got these from Amazon as well. I don't know how, the, how, how quality they are. I definitely have heard that different pellets do make a difference. Um, I've been content with these. But once again, I'm just using a propane grill. I'm not some Traeger fanatic who's smoking their briskets like a madman, which I wish I was. I just don't have that time or money to do that. But here we go, $10 pellet tube. Take the pellets and put them in there. Fill it all the way in. Cool. Fill it up with the peach. And once it's to the brim, pack it down on that paper towel or whatever surface you're using. Just really get them nice. That leaves more room to add a little bit more. Just repeat this process until you got the pellets that you want. To the top. Mine's Basically filled at the top. I'll add a teeny bit more here. And of course, the more pellets you have, the longer it's going to smoke. <clears throat> and the longer it smokes, the more flavor there'll be. Okay. All right, next step, I highly suggest going outside because there's going to be a bunch of smoke. You're going to need a propane torch. I actually need another lighter to ignite this thing because I got it from Ace Hardware and it just doesn't have an igniter on it. It's pretty... Shabby, if you ask me. Cool, torch is lit. Light those pellets. You're gonna do this for, until it gets a good fire burning, you wanna, you wanna burn it to the point where you can settle it down and let it stay on fire for a good five, 10 minutes. Once you get a nice fire going, you just wanna let it burn for about five, 10 minutes. I put it inside my grill because it's damn windy outside right now and I don't want this fire to go out for the next five minutes or so. Oh, there we go. Let's relight that and do it again. All right, this has been going for about seven minutes now, so I'm gonna blow it out. You can see that there's a nice amount of smoke going. Grab it from the bottom or you can use gloves if you think it's gonna be hot, it won't be. I set the end tube toward the back side of the grill so any loose pellets fall in the back. You can actually turn your propane on. Then you're gonna turn this to low. You're gonna keep it on low. And you're gonna take your steak. You're gonna place your steak on the cold side of the grill. There is nothing on, nothing on here. Then I'm simply going to close this grill and I'm going to wait for about two hours. Periodically, I'll just make sure that it is indeed smoking out the back, which it sure is. Um, this should last about two, three hours and I'll uh, come get in there and then I'll show you what it looks like in the next step. All right, two and a half hours later, let's see what these bad boys look like. Ooh, yum, delicious. All right, so next step is move that off to that side. I'm gonna clean that part of the grill, then I'm gonna move those steaks onto this part that has low heat for, I don't know, one and a half minutes at most on each side. And then we'll see what it looks like. If you're gonna grab that with your hands, definitely use some gloves. I'm gonna be using some tongs. All right. Approved by Moose.